The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the creators of some of your favorite childhood collectathons comes a brand new spin on the child friendly pirates genre that feels less like a video game and more like a sandbox for Twitch streamers. Sea of Thieves. Dive into the frothy waters of the Sea of Thieves and discover that they're about as deep as an inflatable kiddie pool as you scour the high seas for adventure, booty, and any trace of fun, but mostly uncover boredom, bugs, and a treasure trove of buyer's remorse in an experience that feels a lot like paying $60 for a beta. The only one getting swashbuckled around here is the consumer, R the access, R. Screw on the barnacled peg leg of the saltiest looking pirate you can randomly generate, cause a character creator is too much work I guess? Then get ready to set out on a genuine pirate adventure where you'll do exactly what real pirates did. Pick up a quest from a vendor, open the fully explored map and chart your course, fiddle with the complicated sailing controls and try to navigate while staring at the mast the whole time, until you reach one of the many nondescript islands, grab the thing you're looking for, then sail slowly back to the guy who asked for it and get a handful of gold for your troubles. Then do it all over again because those are literally the only objectives in the game. This whole thing feels less like being a pirate, more like being a 17th century UPS guy. Choose from a handful of underwhelming mission types. From the ones where you fight waves of semi-skeletons with the awkward unsatisfying sword combat, or run back and forth through your ship to replenish your five bullets, to the ones where they somehow manage to make fetch quests worse by making you find and cage the thing you have to fetch before you can deliver it, or the vaguely amusing pirate riddles that lead to buried treasure chests that are only the best by virtue of being the least annoying. Then strike out and try to make your own fun by taking on the raids, sailing into storms, exploring sunken ships, fighting off the Kraken, intentionally going off the map, or just saying f*** it and grieving everyone you meet. Because apparently a game about pirates is all it takes to turn everybody into spawn camping monsters. Set sail solo to chart the high seas until your slip gets sunk with an ass ton of treasure in it and you realize you're really not supposed to play the game this way. Then join up with a crew of your friends or, God help you, randos, and pilot your galleon like a well-seasoned crew for like three minutes. Then watch the whole thing just evolve into chaos. As you get wasted, play music everywhere, show everyone your map, ring the bell a million times, and generally try to curb your boredom by annoying your crewmates until you find another ship and go into full homicide mode and gameplay that makes you want to be an asshole just because it breaks up the monotony. So plunder that booty and get ready to R your mateys in a gaming experience that felt like it had incredible potential for pirate adventure but ended up being VR chat for Jack Sparrow enthusiasts. Starring getting really lost, getting bitten by snakes, getting eaten by a shark, magical healing bananas, trying to board a ship and getting shot immediately, missing guys that are right in front of you, shooting yourself out of cannons, crashing your ship by being a dumbass, and projectile vomiting on everything. No man's semen. As much as this has been delightful, could you guys go back to making games about animals with googly eyes? Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. I'm tired of people telling me what to say. Their masterworks all. You can't go wrong. I'm not crazy. You just think I'm a pizza. Orange juice. That fresh squeeze. <laughs>